Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. Let's talk about showing up. And more specifically, let's talk about showing up every day. And let's call out the elephant in the room which is that I have not been showing up on this podcast every day, despite the intro that you just heard that called this a daily podcast. And I started out strong, mind you. The first, I think, 50, 60 episodes or so, this was daily. And, you know, there's a lesson in that. I'm, I'm certainly not perfect, but a big part of what I do overall in my business and certainly on this show and elsewhere is model, test, and experiment and report back learnings and insights to you. And so I'm not ashamed to admit that we've been struggling to make this podcast daily. And let's talk a little bit about why that is, although that's not what I want to talk about on this episode. But let's just, let's explain that a little bit because I think it's going to be important for you to understand why we've had these ups and downs. So like any project in the beginning, it's new, it's exciting, and it's really easy to execute. That's that's true for anything new. It's when it's new and it's novel and it's exciting and there's like this really strong passion for it, it's really easy to execute. But eventually in any project, you hit this wall. Um, You know what Seth Godin calls the dip where, you know, momentum kind of wanes. Now it's a little bit of a struggle. You're kind of running out of stuff to say. You're not sure what to do next, and then you might even get distracted by the next shiny object. And, you know, I think that that's part of what happened here on this show. Um, it's not the whole story. I also got really busy with other things, and doing a daily podcast kind of, it fell down the list of priorities. And that's just being pragmatic. Um, I would never tell you to do something uh, and never stop doing that thing because <laughs> hey, that just doesn't make sense, right? I mean, sometimes priorities shift and you're going to get busy, you know, with, with other activities and you can't maintain, um, you can't maintain everything all the time. Now, with that said, the risk here is that you, you distract yourself away from marketing by doing other things and not doing any marketing. And that's certainly not what I'm advocating for, but you know, if you're on a certain flow of content, for example, uh, and that flow or that routine becomes difficult to keep up with because you have other legitimate priorities, then by all means, adjust the schedule. And that's effectively what we did here is it went down from daily to a few times a week and, and it's been a little bit sporadic since then. And I've had these bursts of momentum where we go back to publishing a lot and Obviously, we're taking the videos that I'm doing elsewhere on LinkedIn, and we're, we're publishing those here as a way to, uh, to keep up with the schedule, but it's certainly been up and down, okay? So there's a lesson in that, and it's the following. It's okay to go off schedule when it makes sense, and it's okay if you start out doing something and priorities change, and you're allowed to come back to it, <laughs> okay? You're, you're allowed. It's okay. I'm allowed to come back to this show and I'm allowed to go daily again, it's okay. I'm sure you'll forgive me. And the mistake that we all make is we think, well, if we stop doing something, then now it's dead. It's over. We can't go back to it. And, you know, that's it. That's it. There's, there's, you know, we killed it, right? No, that's not how it works. You can go back. You can revive it. That option's always there. Now, what I really want to talk about today is the value in showing up every day, the importance of showing up every day in some shape or form. Not saying you need a daily podcast uh, by any means. For most of you, that wouldn't even make much sense. But there is a secret. There is this, this, this hidden value in showing up every day. First of all, if you're somebody who kind of complains from a lack of notoriety, and you feel like you're a little bit obscure, and people don't know who you are, they don't know your name, they don't know what you do, well, the simple anecdote to that is you should be showing up more often, and you should be communicating more often, and you should be demonstrating how you can help and how you can be of value more often. And no better way to do that than to show up every day. Because when you do something every day, 
it becomes a habit. It becomes a routine. It becomes just the normal flow of your day. That every day you do this thing. Every day you get up and you take a shower and you work out and you brush your teeth and you have breakfast and you go to work and then you show up. Whatever showing up looks like for you. And we'll talk about that in a second. So you wanna make this habitual. The best way to make this habitual is to just do it every day. It's hard to make things that are less than weekly habitual for sure. Weekly would be the minimum uh, because our time and our schedules flow by the week and by the day. But the best way to make something really habitual is just do it every day, okay? Beyond that, the other benefit of doing this is the more that you produce, the more content that you create, the more ideas you're going to have for content. So I've got clients right now that are right in the middle of a daily content challenge. So for 10 days, excluding the weekend, the challenge is they've gotta, they've gotta come up with one piece of content per day. Not necessarily release it or publish it, but outline or create one idea per day. And the rules are, you cannot spend more than 15 minutes per day on an idea. That's it, 15 minutes. You sit down, you write, it, write out an idea, whether it's a video or an article, whatever it may be, but you write out the, the idea, you outline it, and you got 15 minutes per day maximum. Set a timer, whatever you're done with, whatever you've got, that's what you got. And across the board, what everyone's saying is, wow, I am pumping out ideas left, right, and center. I'm sitting at the doctor's office, and I'm, I got three ideas down on paper. I'm waiting in line at the grocery store, I got an idea. Ideas are coming to me from everywhere, and they're just easy to put out because they're now flexing the muscles of coming up with ideas and framing ideas. And that's a muscle, you have to do the reps. If you do the reps, then it gets a lot easier. And the third reason you should be showing up every day is that when you show up every day and people come to expect that of you, you start to influence their thinking in a really powerful way. Because a little bit at a time, drip by drip, is far more effective than drinking from a fire hose. So to use an analogy, let's say a webinar, right? A webinar is a powerful thing, don't get me wrong. I've got one, it's really powerful. It does some heavy lifting for me. But there is something to be said in addition to the webinar, or sometimes instead of a webinar, to have like a daily drip of content where you're just, you're seeding people every day with one idea, and one idea, and one idea, and one idea. And it's a little idea, it's a small idea, it's not a big idea, it's a small idea, something easy to digest, easy to understand. And over time, that adds up to quite a bit. And I've certainly had clients come to me who've listened to this show and said, listen, I've listened to your podcast for a month, two months, to listen to 30, 40, 50 episodes. I wanna work with you. That happens. Now, with all that said, here's a really simple way for you to do this immediately. Show up every day. Write a daily LinkedIn status update, a daily LinkedIn post, not an article, but an actual post that shows up in the feed. Now those are necessarily short. You can't do one that's more than 1200 characters. That's the limit. So it's short, it's sweet. It's one simple idea every single day. It honestly should not, under any circumstances, take you more than 10 minutes a day to write this post. And that's a simple way to show up. 10 minutes a day, one simple post, you start showing up in people's feeds, they start interacting with your ideas and then drip by drip by drip, they're gonna start being influenced by your way of thinking and start to see things from your perspective, which is ultimately the goal of all this. So show up every day. Simple way to do that is one LinkedIn post every single day. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Report back. Tell me how it goes. Tell me what you learned. Tell me what the effects were. Thanks. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor, if you like what you hear, Go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.